When you're attending Asia's biggest electronics fair, you don't arrive fashionably late, you arrive fashionably time-lapsed. I'm here to see if the latest tech considers women. Does it make our lives better in any way at all? Or is it just a world where there are females in silver costume? Sure, that counts as women in tech. These are the gadgets usually aimed at the lady market. Spa stuff. Maybe useful to ease the pain of bringing in new shoes. Or if you carry a heavy shoulder bag. And frankly, who doesn't? Whoa! Then there's neck massagers. Okay. Oh, okay. Are you selling? Are you selling many of them? Uh, yes. As presents that will never be used. I'm worried it will leave a dent in my hair. Good. Thank you so much. Is there tech to stop women being so polite? Next, I find a gadget that makes the room more humid. Is there any clearer way for tech to say we don't think about women than with a bad hair machine? And a very techy table, you can charge your phone and you can plug in your laptop. There's still no handbag hooks though. There are thousands of bits of tech for men. Combining noise and cars. As a result, just look at those happy chaps on their techie day out. It all prompts a question, though, about why there seem far fewer products I'd like. Is most tech just modern man fishing, stuff to keep guys entertained? For example, to truly appeal to women, shouldn't this be wine? Imagine if robots were programmed to serve women first in bars. One female problem solved by tech. But is anyone thinking like that? To find out, I'm now at a robotics booth, meeting a cutting-edge humanoid robot called Elos. Tell me what Elos does. Uh, they, can, they have the two functions, one is for the entertainment, another for education. A main function is entertainment. That's the modern man-fishing I was talking about. Aren't there other priorities? Mm-hmm. The day that a humanoid robot mm-hmm can do the housework, can do the cooking and all of that stuff. Is that coming, that day when your humanoid robots can uh, do that? Yes, that, uh, your question is very good, you know, so, uh, no, that's our company vision. He showed me a video featuring the design team. Spot something? Is there any women in your team? Nope, was the answer. And now I'm certainly not suggesting that only females do housework and cooking and therefore want tech to take care of it. But maybe the gender makeup of design teams is why we get robotic priorities like this. Is there a zone for robotics at unwomaned tech? Time to keep on pushing through the crowds. And finally, a bit of tech I didn't expect. Nothing to do with men, but menstrual. I asked the all-female staff what it is. Turns out it's a fitness tracker that monitors the usual, including ability to interpret symbols. But on the accompanying app, something less common. A menstruation tracker. When your period is due, does it come up on the watch? Or is there an, an alarm that goes off? Or? Yes, there will be vibration to remind the date. Reverberations. It's like tech cramps, in case you don't notice your own physical ones. But I'm not mocking. So is this the world's first example of menstrual recognition technology? I'm going to finish on drones. These all look like fighter planes, right? But couldn't one drone be designed for female-friendly duties? Sending down details like, will it rain? Will we have bad hair? It would be a frizz-forecasting drone and I'd get one. Time for a shake-up. A-Tech?